five. I'm going in. We need peanut butter, babe. Okay. For more than a thousand generations, peanut butter was a provider of healthy fats, proteins, and vitamins before the dark times, before partially hydrogenated oils. Use the force, Nick. This isn't the peanut butter you're looking for. Your veggie mind tricks won't work on me. Regular peanut butter leads to trans fat. Trans fat leads to heart disease. Heart disease leads to suffering. I find the lack of flavor disturbing. A Jedi craves not these things. Regular peanut butter contains sugar, molasses, partially hydrogenated oils, fully hydrogenated oils, monoglycerides, diglycerides, and salt. Consuming this type of peanut butter is not natural. The dark side of the Force is the pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. From my point of view, stirring the oil on the tub is evil! Look at it! Labels can be deceptive and require close attention. If a product has less than 0.5 grams of trans fat per serving, the manufacturers are allowed to say it has zero trans fat on the label. Even in low amounts, it is wise to stay away from all products that list partially hydrogenated oils as an ingredient. Are you calling me fat? Much to learn you have. One tablespoon of natural peanut butter contains 100 calories, 8 grams of fat, 3 grams of carbohydrates, 5 grams of protein, the ideal combination to curb hunger and promote weight loss. Wikipedia has taught you well! Peanut butter should be consumed in its most natural form. Just peanuts and... Oh. Okay, okay, let's try it. Do or do not. There is no try. Okay, let's get it then. When 900 years old you reach, look as good you will. Who'd you? Don't be a stuck up, half witted, scrappy looking nerf herder and pass on what you've learned. Save you? It can. 